What is it guys, my name is Fox and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna be continuing the Mafia Definitive Edition storyline. This is the chapter 10, the trip to the country. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, hit the like button, subscribe, um, go down there. It will only take two seconds, help me out a lot. And if you want to watch the whole playlist, uh, uh, the link will be on your screen right now. The, the card will be on the top right corner and I will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy. Caramezzo. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tommy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your buying bars, and tell you all in gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Morello. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get re-elected, hoping he'd go after the Don. We recovered some account books from Morello's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. And every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year, until Frank, Coletti, a dance can sick the attic. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and by everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. <laughs> then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show, or invest it for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful skinny Cherneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. He started setting up races together, betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat, and everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy, you could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh... What happened to the dog? 
The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. Took to the country. <clears throat> 1933. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Okay, so we have to meet Frank out in the back. Yeah, there's nothing to pick up. All right, you know, yeah, we got that. It's good to see a smile back on Sarah's face. That's good. Thank you, Luigi. Okay. So, let's go straight. Sure. Then meet Frank. Diamond Street. Why am I getting phone, so many stutters? We got called out to a hit. Some uh, politician on the take. And his storm's just raging. Right? And we're driving out to the burbs to Damn, get this Damn, look guy. at the face. The street lights okay. are so good. So we're driving in a... Boy smoking the cigarettes. <clears throat> Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at a farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city, but I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Polly at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case earmarked for the Don. All right, so we gotta bring the Canadian. I'll go drive to Salieri Bar. Hey, what's up? Oh, did we talk to him? late, Ralphie. I says his sleep when F -F Frank sleeps. Man, he's been working us hard. Morello's taking bites out of business everywhere else, Ruff. Booze records where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. Ah, uh, well, I, I just f -f -f fixed the cars to time. I changed the p -p plates again. You can't be too careful. Uh. See you in the morning. Okay. Change our car um, plate. Okay. So no one will be able to get us. Let's go out in the rain. Drive to Silly Area Warehouse. All right. That's no big deal, we can do that. Nice and easy. <gasps> the police did not see anything. Alright. Damn man. Night. Look at this place. It's great. So let's get to Ciliary Warehouse and I will see you guys there. Oh boy, we're picking speed. Oof, okay, here <clears throat> here we are, the ciliary warehouse. Now we gotta deliver some booze, I think, if I'm correct. I mean, he's a Canadian, but uh, Frank says Canadian, but I don't know. Let's see. Come oh, on, what's up, Tom. Polly? Hey, hey, watch it, pal. Just try it out. Sorry. You know this place? Oh, uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. 
There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks, and we'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, you see it sooner or later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, oh, come on. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. You're going home to a couch. <laughs> I wonder what kind of stories she could tell about her old man, though. Luigi was a stone-cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. God damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your Pekka get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. That'll wake him. Oh no. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard. Uh, just to go three Sam. Sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here. Just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go yeah, grab them that. I didn't, I didn't go to uh, Vinny. Go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. Well then, goddamn. There goes nothing. Oh, wow, dude. What do we have? Okay, 12 shot of that. 28. No molars, no nothing. Okay, let's just keep the shoddy out. Oh. Someone's been waiting here tonight. Oh. One quarter out of work. That shows no one to slow down my year to day. The economics slide down employment stare at 25. Oh, okay. Just an old newspaper. Well, not really old. So the next clue is in this house. Yeah, we gotta keep our shotgun on, man. Let's just hope nothing happened to Sam. What's this? Missing farmer found dead. Lost heaven. Oh, let me. Yeah, lost heaven. Henry Smith missing for two months. Was confirmed dead. Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm. Oh, wow. Farmer's murder. Oh, what, what the hell? Guy shoots a dog. What the hell? Who the hell shots this dog? Who the hell shot that dog? Place is derelict. Okay, a card. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, man, I'm getting Where so many. Where the hell are you hiding? Oh, here's a truck. Sam? You there? Everybody okay, buddy? Everything okay? Oh, please don't tell me he's dead. Come on, man. Hey, buddy. Oh, shit. Jesus. Drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! Damn it. Ready for 
Yeah. Let me get my pistol. Okay, you have. Uh... Come on, peek, 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 peek. Oh. They're hitting me. I don't, I don't think Jordan's gonna reach that far. Bye bye. <coughs> bye bye. Let's get the ambush. Oh, is that all? Damn, bro. I took all of them. Let me let me check here first. Start from this side. Not here. Oh. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, damn it. More of them. Oh. Vitan! Polly! What took you so long? Looking for Sammy? Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Damn. This dude. Oh Christ! The cops, Tommy. Well, how would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. Oh yeah. Forgot about him. Sammy. Sam. Ah oh, damn. Ah, oh, that sucks. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the border patrol. Fuck. They've come heavy, all right. Make lost heaven PD look like pussy cats. Walk. I can only run like hey, can I shoot him? Oh whoa, okay. whoa. We search the farm, find Sam, get the hell out. Anyone else? We slip him the bump. Get it? Okay, get it. Let's go find Sammy. Sam! Whatever. Sam, Sam. That's a lot of blood. Yeah. I think I found it. Bunch of dead guys. Tommy! You don't wanna see this! Jesus. You don't wanna or you gonna wanna? Looks like we found the Canadians. You see Sam in there? No. Black <sighs> some. Oh. Poor bastards. Let's get out. The one building is left. And ooh, wow. Thunder is amazing. Oh, I see someone. What the hell is wrong with you? Can we do it sneakily? By sneaking around? Authority that Celiary Whiskey handover is tonight. Our mutual friends want us to, oh, wants this line of Canadian booze coming out of the city shut down. I want you and your men at the farm. We discussed by nine way through the way through the night and dealt the boss. It's fine if things get rough, they can take some hooch <laughs> home to thank them. I good hunting. Oh wow. Yeah. Water cops doing a 
Rebel's dirty work. Let me get some healing. Is that our okay? That's our guy. Wait, there's something to pick up on the minimap. No? Or is that just that note that we just read? Oh no. See? There was a magazine. Okay, let's go to that lost building. There's something up in that barn over there, Tom. Okay. Shoot, shoot, sorry. What? No! Get him! The hell? Die! Public sale. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. Bam! Oh, Sammy! Oh, God! <laughs>